Reporting live from the heart of Seattle, the Space Needle, we're bringing some hot topics to warm you up on an otherwise chilly Thursday morning. Coming from Miami, we're excited to immerse ourselves in the culture and knowledge that this community has to offer. Good morning, STN. I'm Mia Rodriguez. And I'm Elia Alemán. With two plane rides already checked off our list and a lot of coffee in our system, we are wide awake and ready for the 16th annual STN convention. Seattle is definitely a place with plenty to offer to both locals and tourists alike. And today, our mass team is here to do just that by traveling to some hidden and not so hidden local gems. Yes, Ellie, and we're excited to bring this information to the hundreds of students competing at this STN convention. On today's show, Rebecca Lalama will cover a coffee shop with a unique twist that involves some cute furry friends. Then, Daniel Fernandez will be highlighting Pike Place, a landmark that every Seattle visitor wants to see at least once during their trip. Isabel Grainer will then give viewers an insight on how Native Americans are slowly getting their traditional traits back. Then, a quick PSA that will showcase all the intricate things that Seattle has to offer. To end the show, Julian Sandoval will showcase how the art in Seattle captures the attention of many. Ellie, did you know that spending 15 to 30 minutes of quality time with a cat can lower your blood pressure levels and levels of stress? It probably explains why you have so many cats then. Here in the city of Seattle, it seems that the locals can unwind after a long and tiring day of work, not just by simply ordering their favorite cup of coffee, but by also spending some much needed quality time with a cat. And Nico Cat Cafes helps its patrons unwind in many more ways than one. Seattle, Washington, known for being the home of nebulous skies and a hot cup of joe, and so much more. This is a cultural center for many tourists. One hot spot that has the locals raving is the Neko Cat Cafe. This cafe allows customers to consume their coffee while connecting with a curious kitty companion. While most coffee shops only serve coffee, at Neko Cat Cafe you can do so as you cuddle up with a new perfect friend. Um, we're really different and we stand out a lot because of our cats um, and we foster all of our cats here from local shelters so we're really well known in the community as helping animals and I think that that encourages people to want to support us um, and also cats are just amazing to hang out with so Nico is more than just your average cafe partnering with RASKC to help find each of the cats located here their forever home the spot prides itself on providing top services to its patrons while also nurturing a quality environment for pets that would otherwise not have anywhere else to go. Uh, we do a lot of social media marketing um, and then we're also in some magazines around the city that are in hotel rooms that have top 10 things to do in Seattle. Um, and we're usually always on the list, which is great for business also. Nico is hoping to give these furry friends a chance to find a new owner by introducing them to the inevitable onslaught of visitors. Whether the customers find a suitable match and take home a new pet, or simply visit the cats and leave empty-handed, this cafe brings a sense of comfort for its visitors to relieve their stress and worries for a short period of time. With the incorporation of exquisite coffee and curious cats, Neko Cat Cafe will continue to stay on top due to its distinct indoor style and cat comfortability. This cafe has clawed its way to the top and will continue to stay there. My name is Rebecca Lama for Mass News from STN. Pike Place is one of the many historic landmarks that Seattle has to offer. In a multicultural and expanding community, the markets here at Pike Place make everyone feel included. Coming from the 305, such a diverse city, it is comforting to have a location that makes us feel right at home. And with the influence of many people there, it makes us feel like one with the city. Overlooking Elliott Bay waterfront is Pike Place Market, a central hub for fresh local produce like fish markets, restaurants, organic farmers markets, and many more attractions that will keep your mouths watering and tummies full. Established in 1907, Pike Place Market is a place that connects citizens to local vendors and farmers. The nine-acre historic district continues to expand and bring together the diverse people of Seattle, allowing them to learn about one another but also support small businesses and the surrounding community. Tourists and locals alike can improve their knowledge about the city's roots and atmosphere, giving them a taste of the real Seattle. The market provides knowledge in a historical manner because we've been here for over 100 years and it's like in the heart of downtown and it keeps on providing and keeps people in touch with where their food is coming from. I think that people are looking to be more in touch with their food these days than in past years. So you keep up with the pace of the city by 
just providing for the people and accommodating for the amount. Even though you may get caught in a sticky situation. Pike Place Market, it still brings people together with its organic food, fresh fish, and it improves the local knowledge of all the people that can come visit the oldest standing market in the United States. Reporting for Moss News from STN, I'm Daniel Fernandez, signing off. Thank you, Danny. Over 700,000 people can call Seattle home. However, 30 million of them are just like us and visit each year and can use some advice on the places to discover. Lucky for us, Seattle never stops. That means there's plenty to do for all tourists. With its vibrant colors and passion for fresh produce, Seattle is a unique cultural epicenter for tourists, luring in consumers with attractions such as the famous Space Needle with its 360-degree view of the city and the historic Pike Place Market with its abundance of local foodstuffs, intriguing art and novelties, and aesthetically pleasing photo opportunities. Seattle has more to offer than what meets the eye. Tourists, be sure to catch these delightful landmarks, dive into local culture, and enjoy the view. Traditions are often passed down from generation to generation, just like our Cuban abuelas passed down that one recipe that we are forbidden to share. Here in the city of Seattle, there is an emerging amount of Native Americans throughout the city. These same Native Americans now have a duty, salvaging back their culture that was taken away from them a long time ago. In the Pacific Northwest, Native American products are popular among customers. However, what they don't realize is that these products are often produced by non-Native companies. The H Generation store, located in downtown Seattle, aims to combat cultural appropriation by reclaiming their identities. By featuring merchandise designed entirely by Native artists, they're sharing their knowledge and roots with Seattle's locals while simultaneously bringing Native-made goods like wool blankets and jewelry to the mainstream. I like it because it's very earthy, it's very real, it's simple yet elegant. It has a story to it as opposed to just putting something out there. It kind of has a story and realism to it. Ever since the store was founded in 2008, Eighth Generation has maintained strong presence due to word of mouth and social media management. At its heart, 8th Generation is made of a community of entrepreneurs lifting each other up and creating socially conscious consumers. From Mass News, from STN, I'm Isabel Greiner. Art is a huge part of any city, and with 400 individual pieces in Seattle alone, it takes a very talented individual to catch the public's eye. And one art piece that makes you look up and go, wow, I've never seen that before, are the glass sculptures that linger around the Seattle streets. While walking around the busy streets of Seattle, your eye may be drawn to a series of colorful, crystal-like sculptures. This is the beautiful art of glass blowing, one of the staples of Seattle art and culture. These figures are most notably showcased in the Chihuly Gardens, an art museum that is extremely popular among the locals. Locals each have their own favorite aspect of the museum, but the majority seem to especially admire the art itself. So what I love about the Chihuly Gardens and glass is the scale of installations and how you immerse yourself in the artwork and you're surrounded by color and shapes and um, art. But before any of these pieces can be exhibited, there's a lengthy process involved in their creation. From conceptualizing to molding to crafting, all of this hard work results into a breathtaking product. Uh, Seattle is an epicenter for glass blowing. Uh, there are more glass blowing studios and artists working in the area than anywhere else in North America, and um, it's a great place to create glass. It is very easy to see why the locals frequently visit these displays. Glass blowing is an art form that will remain true and timeless to the city of Seattle. Reporting for Mass News from STN, I'm Julian Sandoval, signing off. With all the interesting things that Seattle has to offer, our knowledge on this beautiful city has emerged drastically. From the bright city lights to the leafless trees, STN has done a great job in ensuring that journalists are expanding their local knowledge each and every single day. For Mass News here at STN, I'm Elie Aleman. And I'm Mia Rodriguez, signing off.